Hello again, everyone! Welcome back to Suikoden 4! Alright, let's uh, head into the library. We uh, do actually have... I think we have all of the books now. We should actually uh, check that out. Let's see... Library... Alright, where is it? Seriously. Okay, screw it. <clears throat> oh, hey. Frederica's in here. I hear that there is a book about the village that Graham Cray destroyed. Oh, I might have it. What am I doing right now? I'm studying a chart. Uh, I'm just doing my job. I want to study it, too. I want to study it. Why won't you let me study it? I want to study it. I hate your chart. Oh, Mr. Ald. This is a new treasure map, isn't it? I'll take care of it. Hand it over, treasure map. And I'll just analyze all the new maps. Focusing my spirit on the map. There, it's been analyzed. Hello, how may I help you today? I want to see a treasure map. Alright, so we got uh, 30. Um, that's already found. We've got two. That looks like uh, Mordo. Already found, already found. Uh, oop, uh, that looks like uh, Mountain Mass. Already found, already found, already found. That is Donut. Already found, already found, already found, already found. That is Mountain Mass. Already found, already found. Seriously, game. The, that's pretty obviously Donut. <laughs> already found. See, now whereas that one took a while to figure out. <laughs> that meant nothing. Already found. Oh, I'm missing a map. Um, hmm. Hmm. Alrighty, well, um, let's take a quick look to see if we can figure out uh, what we are missing. Alright. It's so number 20. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Um, damn it, missed it. Where the hell is it? God damn it. Oh. No, that's actually not what I wanted. Um. That doesn't help me any. Not that it has much good, but still. I want, I want the list of where I get them. I hate that. Seriously. Alright, you know what? Screw it. Screw it, don't care. I'll figure it out later. Already found, 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 already found. Okay, so... We, oh, damn it, I want to know where that last one is. I thought I had them all. Um... Alright, well, it is not a missable treasure map. I know that much. Hmm. Uh, and before we... let's see... Uh, I've got Old Book Volume 4, which is missable. Alright, well that doesn't help me much. Seriously. Uh, I hate it when they do this, like... It's it's not that clear exactly where what you know where the various things are. Nah, screw it. I'll figure it out later. Um. Uh, but we are we do have some uh, treasure maps to uh, investigate. Hello, Tanya. You have the old book, don't you? <laughs> I can tell by the smell. Mmm, I love that smell of book. 
Will you let me take a look at it? Hand it over, old book volume 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, which would you like to read? We are missing number one. I'll have to figure out where that is. Lives of Pirates. The rods jutting out, out to the back and front. Due to their outlandish appearance, pirate ships came to be commonly called Six Masts and greatly feared. Edgar, the man named called the Pirate King, lived on the sea, died on the sea. Brando, the man who was once Edgar's partner. However, after Edgar's death, he changed greatly. He is feared as the man who invites death. Kika, a pir pirate who sails among the island nations. She has many allies, but also many enemies due to the fact that she is hostile towards Cray Trading Company. It is said that the thing she wears around her neck is Pirate King Edgar's second cervical vertebrae. It seems she is currently in pursuit of Brando. That's kind of gross. Oh, that's okay. That's it. Man Hunting Incident A grievous incident that once occurred on the border between the Scarlet Moon Empire and the Kuluk Empire will be recorded here. Years of conflict lay between the Scarlet Moon Empire and the Kuluk Empire, and for a long time, they would carve away at each other's strength. However, the Scarlet Moon Empire made a proposal, and both sides settled on a truce for an indefinite period of time. Amidst this situation, there was a faction of nobles on the Scarlet Moon side who could not suppress their raging blood. They had gained distinction in the war against the Kuluk, and it is said that they grew impatient with the truce. Soon, their agitating took the form of hunting. Dark Sun hunting? They attacked small villages along the border, one after another. It is said that when they did, they disguised themselves as Kuluk troops. Perhaps due to this, for a time, this series of incidents was perceived to be over border disputes. Finally, having found out the true state of things, the tacticians of the Scarlet Moon Empire issued a warning, but they said this is in opposition to, against the Kuluk army's sneak attacks, and did not listen. What? During this time, a serious incident occurred when, where a subordinate of the tacticians used some kind of great power to murder the faction of nobles. This tactician was banished immediately from the Scarlet Moon Empire. I take it that was Eleanor? However, it is said that no more cases of manhunting were reported after this incident. That's, uh, not very clear. Bargain list! These are pretty much the bargains I've found so far. Razra, leather armor, shin guards, bangle, iron helm, wristbands, thunder rune piece, water amulet, unicorn boots, unicorn boots? Warrior braces, Venus armor? Uh, maybe that's where I got it. Yeah, I think I got it in, a bar in, in one of the bargain items. Hat of wisdom, nay cobalt hat. Middleport, fur shoes, guard robe. They sell garter robes? Pointy hat, needle sash, scale shield, noble shoes, spiked heels, thunder god's garb, dragon helmet, Nanal Island, pirate armor, you can buy pirate armor there? Wow. Paw gloves, gold mask, noble's hat, magic ring. Kingdom of Obel, master's wrists, wristbands, battle suit, paw shoes, feather robe, thunder god's garb, pirate bandana, flame amulet, gale bandana, venus gloves, silk hat, cat mask, dragon bone armor. Do your best to find them. Later! Okay. Introduction to trade. Let's start by buying something at the trading post in town. That is the first step. Uh, are you sure? I don't know that I believe you there. Next, let's try selling those goods in a different town. No! No, that is wrong. You don't sell them in a different town. You sell them back to the same town. <laughs> it's like... This, this book could be titled... Obvious book is obvious. If the price is higher than, than when you bought it, the difference is your profit. Well, that's a good thing that it doesn't cost anything to move around. If the price when you bought it is higher, then you will take a loss. Try looking for a town somewhere where you can sell it for more. As you buy and sell, you will learn what is cheap and what is expensive in which towns. Once you get this down, making money is a snap. There's one more important point. Among the traded goods, there are some whose rank will go up if you repeatedly trade that item. Ores and clothes work this way. Higher ranked goods will sell for higher prices, so your profits will also increase. Now, with this, you are already a respectable merchant. A merchant in training, that is. Oh, I am a master merchant. Thank you very much. Easy way to make defensive equipment. Equipment. Armor chapter. Defensive equipment, such as armor, can be made by following these three steps. 1. Collect material. 
Primarily, this material is ore. Supplementary materials such as horns and scales are also sometimes used. Go to a smithy. Once you have all the material, hire the services of a smithy that can combine them for you. You cannot make it yourself. Hire a pro in the appropriate field. 3. Combining. At this point, you must be warned about the quality of the ore. The material may be the same, but depending on the ore's quality, the finished armor will differ. The attributes and price will differ greatly, so pay close attention to the ore quality. Wow, that's that's great. Clothes chapter. Now, we will explain, explain the three steps to having clothing tailored. 1. Collect material. Yeah, okay, I think that's obvious. Now, it's, it's a little bit different. Clothes are made out of cloth, such as linen and silk. Supplementary materials, such as feathers and seashells, are also sometimes used. Go to a tailor. After getting the materials, it's now time to have it made. Hire the services of a tailor. 3. Completion. At this point, you must be warned about the quality of the cloth. The material may be the same, but depending on the cloth's quality, the finished clothing will differ. Try various combinations. It, the game tells us all the combinations. About accessories. Do you think buy? Do you think accessories are things you buy? The truth is, as long as you have the materials, you can actually have them made quite easily. If you try using pearl shells and scales as materials, you, end, you will end up with objects that are more beautiful than you might expect. These materials are often obtained from the more dangerous creatures that lurk at sea and, la and on land. Be careful when gathering materials. I kind of wonder if in the Japanese version they didn't tell you what was what when you went into the uh, places. Do you know anyone who is skilled at making accessories? If you have these people make them for you, you'll be able to fill your life with all sorts of accessories. Give it a try! Do I have to? The El Eyal Battle. The Kuluk Empire's expansion into the south commenced with the, strong, with the completion of a strong fort in El Eyal, the southernmost point of the nation, and the formation of three new fleets. Feeling threatened by this, the guy in Dukedom dispatched the Knights of Nrazril and the fleet affiliated with Middleport to El Eyal to launch a sneak attack. However, this assault was foiled in no time at all by the counterattack launched by the first Kuluk fleet, and the Gaian Dukedom military was forced to withdraw. After this, Kuluk forces invaded Middleport, stationing troops there. The Kuluk forces later left after Middleport agreed to establish itself as an independent city. Presently, though Fort Ia El Ial is somewhat on the stagnant side, it is said that it is steadily making preparations to advance southward. Ah, so that's what happened before this game started. Eh, interesting. And the story of creation. The 27 true runes are born. First, there was darkness. Darkness lived in the long, long chasm of time. Having suffered for such a long time in loneliness, darkness finally shed a tear. From the tear, two brothers were born. They were, the, they were sword and shield. Sword proclaimed he could cut through everything, while shield replied that he could not be wounded by anything. Thus, they decided they would fight. The battle went on for seven day and seven nights. Seven day, remember. Just seven day, not seven days, uh, seven day. Sword cut through shield, and shield shattered sword. The pieces of sword rained down and became the sky. The pieces of shield rained down and became the earth. The sparks from the battle became the stars. Finally, the seven, 27 jewels that once adorned sword and shield became the 27 true runes, and thereupon ro arose the world. Fascinating, Captain. Alright, so that's about it. I need to figure out where that last book... Oh, there is someone... Hey! Everyone on this ship is interesting. It's fascinating in all sorts of ways. No idea you were back there. Alright, well, uh, we'll just do a couple of confessions. Uh... Now, Judge, you have that right. Do I really? I... I'm not even sure if I'm captain. You have done well by coming here. In this room, you may confess what is in your heart and accept proper judgment. D do your worst if you dare! Would you secretly inform me about anyone on board the ship who you think is causing problems? Let's see, like that Tanya girl? The way she speaks isn't proper. She asks Lady Eleanor questions all the time, but such ill-mannered speech is rude to use towards Lady Eleanor. Can't anything be done about her? I think that's Agnes, then. Then would you tell me what you think of Ald? Sir Ald? L mm, let me think. Well, Lady Eleanor trusts him, so I suppose... So, I trust him also. I suppose that's about it. Finally, quietly confess the things you wish to atone for, or all the things that you are thankful for. Let me think. Nothing in particular. I haven't done anything that I would need to apologize for. Then I shall pass judgment. 
Uh, oh. We'll forgive. Yes! That's right, after all, I haven't done anything I should be ashamed of. Well then, please excuse me. I thought there was supposed to be something about a silhouette. Figure out who was who. But I think that was, I, I think that was uh, Agnes. Yeah, I'll just do another one. I have that right. I thought I could only marry people. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, someone on the ship causing problems. Hmm. I'm not really keen about Nate Kobolds. My nose just gets really itchy when I breathe in their fur. I have nothing against them, but... Alright, what do you think of Ald? Oh, he's a funny person. He stares intently at the ball coming out when playing the lottery. Oh, so I guess this is Bang. His eyes are just so serious. Eh, quietly confess. Every so often there are times when I only have white balls in there in the lottery. Well, it won't be a problem as long as no one finds out, right? Should pass judgment. Don't forgive. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, what did you do that for? How did you put that up in there? Alright, so that's that's the confession room again. Um you know what? Let's uh, let's see if the cultivation room is ready. Otherwise, I might have to go rest. Please tell me it's ready. Please tell me it's ready. Damn it! Damn it! I thought I was ready. Okay, well, we're done with uh, the uh, fifth and fourth floors. Let's go up to the third floor. Um, now, I think I'm going to have to look something up here. If I can find it. Alright, where is it? Where is it? All right, that's too far. Uh, okay. Nope. Oh, you can actually fish up the uh, gold pot in the central ocean. I've never seen it, though. I don't think I've ever gotten one. Um. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, before we do the uh, um, decoration room, uh, so here is Nabokov. Uh, do I have anything to appraise? I do not. Um, there's Gene. Uh, have we seen what fungi sells? I don't remember. Uh, salad, broiled fish, which is not the same as broiled sardines. Uh, Guyan's Night's Lunch. Uh, Guyan Night's Lunch. Cover hit points. And special lunch, gain hit points, and heal all status ailments. Not too bad. Can't actually talk to that woman there. Um, I have some stuff, so cook it up for me, please. Minced bonito, macro miso stew, and broiled sardine. Thank you. Did you come to temper your sword, too? It's important to prepare on a daily basis, don't you think? You wouldn't want to die in some outlandish outfit, would you? No, I guess. <laughs> so... He and his wife have basically the exact same stuff. I still get lost on this ship. Mr. Ald, hello. Hello to you too. I guess nothing ever goes there. Hmm. Uh, bargain item. Nope. So again, everything that you can buy elsewhere. So you can get. Uh, this is where I bought all of my lucky rings. So you can get diamond boots, uh, platinum boots, etc. Uh, diamond shield, platinum shield, stuff like that, so... Um, we'll probably be buying some of these, uh, the diamond items at some point, uh, for equipping various people, uh... So I think we're gonna have a couple, uh, like, multi-party battles or something like that. I haven't eaten enough! I'm not even full yet! Good for you. 
So, the lottery, um... I tend to do this with, uh... Ooh, wow! I tend to do this with, uh, uh... Frame skip on. Get a second place prize. Sunbeam Orb, so every time you get one of those, that's 5,000 gold that you can put in your wallet, basically. Um, the gold is... Oh, I don't, I don't remember what the first time it was. Was, uh... Pirate helmet or something like that? I don't know. Now it's a, a diamond, I think. Um, and a li I, I'm pretty sure that it's the exact same stuff at uh, other places. I've checked the other... Uh, I haven't won a, uh, a first place prize at any place else, but uh, uh, all the other levels are the same at uh, Ney, at least. The Ney Kobold Village. Um, this is still just an empty room. I guess this is cargo. Hey, this place is relatively quiet. Even with cats around, it's relaxing. It's a cat room. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I heard lots of Mr. Chipu's story, amazing stories. There was this one time when Mr. Chipu, um, uh, oh, I forgot. I'd better go hear it again. I'll definitely make it big. Hmm? What? And Pekula. Oh, you have some wonderful furniture. Here, let me see it for a second. Hand it over. Fancy carpet, fancy wallpaper, fancy table, fancy sofa, fancy console, tiger carpet, mink wallpaper, blue fox desk, sheepskin sofa, chinchilla stand, forest carpet, forest wallpaper, log desk, log bench, log display stand, ocean floor carpet, wave wallpaper, coral table, seashell bench, coral console, tat tatami mat, sliding door, natural wood desk, natural wood bench, simple wallpaper, simple table, simple sofa, simple display stand, that was a lot. Hi, good of you to come. All right, what will we place? Uh, let's go. Let's see. Who do I want to uh, uh, go with? Let's go for the traditional Japanese set: uh, ocean floor carpet, and the wallpaper will be a uh, sliding door. That's a wallpaper. Okay, table. Uh, that will be natural wood desk. Sofa will be uh, natural wood bench. And display stand. Am I missing one? Oh, crap. I must be missing one. Damn it, I am missing one. Natural wood stand. Okay. Pretty sure that's not what I'm looking for there. Yeah. Let's go in. Yeah, not quite. All right, I'm going to have to go do some more net fishing. Damn it. I am still missing an item. I've apparently not done enough fishing in the Central Ocean. All right, okay, I guess we're not going to do that one. I hope I don't need that natural wood stand for anything else. I do not. Good. Okay. Um... Let's go for the ocean set. Uh, the carpet will be... Ocean floor carpet. Am I missing one here? I am missing the... Uh... Alright, you know what? Rather than uh, doing that... Um... Well, I... Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So I'm missing two items. One of them I can get right now. Um, yeah, I'll we'll do what I can here first. Let's see how much time do I have. Oh well, I don't have a whole lot of time left in this episode anyway. Um, yeah, let's let's skip this. We'll do this in a little bit. Go talk to more people. Ships are wonderful, don't you think? After all, they can take us to all sorts of different places in there with everyone. Indeed. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet. Uh, I don't want to go up there. Let's go in here. The saloon. Uh, do we have anyone around here to talk to? 
No, I'm fine. So we've got Gunter. Sure, let's do it. We'll take a look at his uh, two games. Which game will you play? Down to one. Do you know the rules? Um, I'd like you to teach me. Okay, let me explain. This is a game where we each take turns rolling the die. Whoever rolls the one first wins. If anything else comes up, you have to put the same, put in the same number of pots as you roll. You roll. Whoever wins gets all the pots in the put in the pot. If it ends in a draw, each person splits up the pot in the pot. I'd rather not play a game where you don't, you can't pay your share. So please don't play if you can't afford it. Also, if the die leaps out of the bowl, it's considered dead and you lose. You'll have to look carefully at the marks and roll so that it'll land properly in the bowl. Think you understand it now? I got it. Uh, we'll go with 20 potch. I'll go with this. Okay, he rolls first. Gets a 2. I got a 2. Four. And I got a dead roll. I lost. Oh, darn. Uh, I'll quit now. And Triple Toss is the exact same game as the previous uh, uh, Suikoden games. So that's his game. Hey, Jeremy. What's up? I'm ready and able to go any time. Play a match with me. Uh, only if you're prepared to lose. I don't remember what his game is. Come on now, please hurry up and decide which game you'd like you'd like to play. Coin game one. Will you need an explanation for this game? No. <laughs> the fee is 100 potch. Now, shall we play? Hmm, shall we? Yes. Here we go. Now, heads or tails? Heads. Is it tails? It certainly appears to be. I lose. Seriously? No. Okay. Uh, coin game two. No. No idea what's going on. Yeah, 100. That's fine. I have no idea what's going on here. None at all. <laughs> Are we going for, like, three in a row or something? I, I don't know. No, we can't be going for three in a row. That would be a tie. Huh. No. I have no idea what the... Ah, god, god. Never mind, I'll quit. Alright, okay, game one was obvious. Let's, uh, let's see. We'll take turns tossing the coin, and whoever gets more heads will win. If you get more heads than I do, you'll get a lot of potch. Oh yes, even if all your tosses are tails, don't give up. All tails is also a win, provided that I have at least one heads. Would you like to hear the explanation one more time? Never mind, I'll quit. Quit. Alright. That's... a thing. So there's no items to win there. Um, Basil has a tops game that uh, you win items at. Um, so we'll take a look at that, but we'll do so in the next episode. Um, if you... on what I, what I want to do about that uh, stupid... thing that I didn't get. Yeah. I'll have to get it later. Alright, see you uh, in the next episode, guys.